Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your mini love reading for May. Take what applies only. And if you enjoy this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started with the major arcana. And we are going to see what the energy is between you and your person and how things have shifted since we've left eclipse season behind. Okay, so what has eclipse season uh, ushered in to your connection? Okay, what do we have for the sign of Gemini, please? Loving it. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Wheel of Fortune number 10. Uh, possibly a major cycle has been completed with this astrological um, combination that we have had. And uh, I'm actually looking at this little circle right here, and it kind of reminds me of the old uh, classic combination locks that you turn to the right, to the left, to the right. Um, uh, maybe even like to the lock of a safe, okay? So Wheel of Fortune is um, obviously luck, fortune, um, fate, destiny, things moving in a positive direction. And I'm hearing the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Like this is a reminder if you've been down on your luck, if you have experienced misfortune, if you have just been feeling like the universe is against you or everything's going wrong, then this is a reminder that you cannot always be in that energy, right? The wheel continues to turn. Sometimes you might be down on your luck and other times you might be having the best day of your life, right? The best time of your life. Um, and hopefully this is the best era of your life coming up soon. But I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is basically, again, going along with the theme of eclipses. We're talking about fate and destiny, and y'all can refer to my channel. I've been talking about this for weeks. So, um, so yeah, I feel a major shift happening for you and your person. Let's dig into the Minor Arcana and find out, first of all, how is your person feeling about this energy uh, or this shift? Um, how they plan to take action moving forward and what the outcome is, okay? Okay, so we've got the six of hearts, Gemini. <sighs> so it seems to me like you and this person have a very deep connection, a soul connection, possibly past life connection, or you've just known this person for a while. Um, six of hearts to me, uh, maybe you, you share children together or you have kind um, fond memories of each other. Uh, it's also a card of wanting to reconcile. Oh, my nose is itching as I said that. So Gemini, it seems to me like you and your person uh, both want to reconcile. Maybe you have been waiting for this shift in energy or fortune um, in order to uh, kind of assist this in happening. But I feel that your person definitely thinks about you a lot. They have nostalgia when they think of, of the times that you've shared together. And of course, this is common for Mercury retrograde, right? But like I said, with this perfect combination of astrological energy, it's not just any Mercury retrograde, right? It's Mercury retrograde in the middle of eclipse season where destined events and things align. So obviously it seems to me, Gemini, that you and this person are meant to be in some way, shape or form. Um, how is this person planning on acting moving forward? We have the Queen of Hearts. So obviously if you and this person... Um, again, have this connection, this soul connection, then I think this person is starting to realize that, wake up to that, but they plan to be very open-hearted and vulnerable with you based on this Queen of Hearts energy. Um, obviously, Queen of Hearts also represents um, unconditional love, um, intuition, nurturing energy, kindness, that type of thing. But we know that love is not a transaction, right? It's not a gift to be given. It's not a prize to be won. Um, it's something that just is. This energy of love is going to be flowing from your person. And uh, some of you might be surprised at that, okay? I think this person that you're connecting with is just generally loving in nature. I don't think they're the type of person that's going to be chasing you around, trying to splash their cup of love in your face. But when you deal with this person, they operate from love okay so what the outcome is going to be oh my gosh okay I'm gonna get another card <laughs> all right so I have to because the three of swords is the outcome I don't know if I like that very much but with the two of wands coming out with that I almost feel Gemini that this person could potentially be having some open 
and honest conversations with you about some pain that they've been through. Um, Potentially your person is in a third party situation or grieving from a third party situation. I find the three of swords could also be an acknowledgement of trauma. So, you know, this person too, with the two of wands clarifying, I think your person's been at a crossroads a bit. Um, Maybe they've already been down this path where they've experienced a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of grief and sadness. Um, And they're kind of like, okay, ready to leave that behind and travel down a new path. As a matter of fact, I think this person has been making plans to reconcile with you and maybe what's been stopped them is this third party energy okay and again third party energy doesn't mean that this person has like a side piece or whatever it could just mean that the third party is their grief their trauma whatever they've been storing whatever they've been holding on to and you know for some of you this trauma and grief could be directly related to you okay um so and that's not for everybody though okay but let's go ahead and find out What else we need to know in regards to what's up ahead for the rest of Taurus season? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's like way too many. So I'm just going to start over. As far as what's ahead in regards to challenges, okay? Is there a challenge up ahead between you and this person or for you and this person? Okay, so we have the potion, magic alchemy cure, healing and transformation. Oh, love spell medicine. Okay. So obviously the negative connotation of this card would be like poison or illusion. So I think the potion coming up here could just be again, reiterating what I said. Um, I think this person really does need to focus on healing and transforming their situation. Um, I don't think they've fully healed from the pain and trauma that either you or someone else has caused to them. And so this could just be a solve for that, right? You and this person coming together and maybe sharing memories, having these open, honest conversations could end up being the cure or the solve that transforms your connection, okay? Um, What else do we need to see in regards to just anything we need to know? Anything we need to know? Temperance. Okay, so whatever's happening here and however this storyline resonates to you, this is a reminder that everything is being divinely balanced and guided from behind the scenes. Okay, so temperance is a card of being patient or or having patience. Uh, gaining perspective, and also paying attention to the flow of life, right? Knowing that not everything is under our control. Sometimes we do have to wait for the energy of the universe to align. Um, Again, fate slash free will was one of the readings I did recently. But um, I don't know, I kind of almost feel like you and this person have already sort of waited. And so maybe this is just a reminder that everything that you have waited for um, is for a reason. Okay, again, divine timing. But the word solutions right now is sticking out to me too. So I think you and this person, even though they may still be healing or struggling with some sort of um, third party energy that they've got to move on from, I think you and this person are going to end up finding solutions to this okay you will be able to heal and transform um and and possibly put your two heads together and create a love spell right um let's find out what this person wants to say to you let's take a look at these messages oh gosh i've been drinking and smoking to numb the pain of not having you in my life it's not working so you know maybe this person has tried to kind of numb themselves or just forget about the pain and the trauma um you know forget about the the separation or whatever's happening between the two of you and it's not working okay this person maybe tried to forget you uh tried to drown you out tried to ignore you whatever and again going back to that whole wheel of fortune i was just saying earlier how maybe you felt like you're down on your luck or you know things are not moving forward the way you would like but this energy has shifted things for the two of you and now this person can't stop thinking about 
the love that you share and now they're being kind of directed to open their hearts and deal with this trauma and pain that they've been storing so they can heal it so they can move forward and and come together with you um, and form some sort of like dynamic duo is what I'm getting uh, from this okay so it's not working they can't just drown you out Gemini and they know it I don't know what this is between us, but I think it might be magic. Did you put a spell on me? So Gemini, I think this person could also just feel very, um, very tied to you, right? This could definitely be a soul connection. And maybe this person doesn't really understand the nature of that. Um, or if, if they do, and it's not about that, then, you know, they obviously have tried to drown it out. They've tried to forget about it. They know that they can't stop thinking about you and it's, it's magical. Okay. Again, going back to temperance, the whole alchemy and balance behind the scenes, things are obviously working in the two of your favor and they're starting to see how everything is unfolding. Um, so, you know, this energy could even be the thing that sort of proves to this person that they're not supposed supposed to forget about you that they're supposed to make things right with you okay and I'm gonna get one more card for you guys this one's a little bit long but I don't know I'm just feeling it okay I look at photos of you all the time I wish you were by my side instead so with this person I think is they've I think what they've been scared about or the reason they've tried to like numb the pain or forget about you is because Gemini I think you've done something actually to hurt this person um, or to cause them some sort of trauma and uh, they're realizing like even through that even through the, the experiences that t the two of you have had it's like the universe still keeps drawing the two of you back together in that sense okay now obviously I don't condone like I don't condone abuse or anything like that, right? I'm not that tarot reader that's going to be like, yeah, you know, even though your ex was toxic, you should definitely give it another shot. Like, no, everyone has their threshold. Everyone uses their discernment. Okay, so please use yours if this is your story. And if you liked this reading and you want to book a private reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Other than that, Gemini, I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye.